we are getting ready to head out. Actually, I need to eat something first. I've decided it's earlier than I normally eat, like a full meal, but um, I don't want to buy food out. So we are going to make avocado toast on the early side today. And it's Tuesday. I just put on some clothes. I'm wearing my exercise dress, of course. And I just threw this little jacket over it. Um, it's actually hot outside today, so I'll probably tie this around my waist. But I'm going to go into the city today. I had, if you watched my last video, I did like an interview prep video that was yesterday. And today I just want to get out of my apartment. I signed up for my co-working space again. If you guys heard, I went on and on about that a couple of vlogs ago where I had this credit and it was going to go to waste. So I decided to use it. So I have access to the space for the next month at least. So um, I haven't been there yet since I signed up again. And it's almost been a week, so I better use it. I want to go and run a couple errands first. I want to go to Ulta and get a few makeup things that I'm out of and then go to the co-working space, get some editing done. I'm kind of behind on videos. Frankly, I've been slacking because I've been, my attention's been split into so many different directions, but trying to get back on track, get my life in order as usual. It's never in order, who am I kidding? Anyway, um, I'm going to make some I probably could use some fresh groceries. My fridge is like not empty, but I am out of protein. Yeah, I thought I would just take you guys along with me the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday in the city. I'm actually going out of town this weekend. I'm going to Boston for the first time in my life. I can't believe I've never been to Boston, um, especially since I've been living on the East Coast now for like four years and i've always wanted to go and i've never made the trip my friend from college marissa is from there and she's actually home for a bit this summer and so i'm going to see her and we're planning that out i booked my trains no i'm taking the bus i booked my bus tickets yesterday so i'm excited about that but i don't want to have any work to do over the weekend so i kind of have to hustle a little bit this week and like get on top of my shit. doing some workouts we're doing some um, maybe dinner with friends. I don't know kind of just all over the place this week But I want to take you guys along with me on the journey. Okay, I'm gonna put shoes on when I'm cooking food oh, I need to toast my bagel. I'm just wearing NMDs running around the city I don't know why I feel I need to go to Ulta today and also Harold Square is like not really <laughs> In the direction I need to go, but whatever. Yeah, I just feel the need to like get out walk go on an adventure and that's what we're doing. Let's do it. All right, everything I need in here. I'm bringing my laptop and my hard drive so I can get some work done, hopefully. And we're gonna go to Harold Square first and then walk to the co-working space location in Bryant Park, because it's not that far. So let's get this train. I'm in Ulta now. I found a few of the things. I need a new powder. Waterproof mascara, summer essential. I'm gonna look for the lash primer that I use. Success. Okay, well, so it was a success. I'll probably show you what I got later. Just a few things. And now, I'm headed to the co space. I haven't been into this location yeah, exactly. in ages, so I might have a hard time finding it. But yeah, it's actually a good walking distance. and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Ulta this morning and um, I got some good stuff. Not everything that I was looking for. They didn't have Marc Jacobs makeup there, which is what I wanted to get for the eyelash primer, but it's okay. I'm almost out of translucent powder, which is what I set my face with every day. And so they didn't have the Rimmel one that I usually get, but I decided to try the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder. I'm just hoping it doesn't give much of like a flashback kind of effect because sometimes those HD powders tend to do that. So it is just translucent. There's not a color um, mirror included. Love that. I've never tried this before, but we're gonna try it out. See how it does. Good, got a mirror. There you are. So there's the first thing. And then I 
go through this stuff so much because it's my favorite moisturizer, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. But I was just going to pick up the regular one and I saw that they have one with SPF 30 in it. So I decided to get the sunscreen one because it's always good to have sun protection. Even though I usually put sunscreen on separate. So I don't necessarily need it. But sometimes I forget and it's just good to have double the SPF. Can't hurt. So hopefully it's mostly the same because I love the formula. This one's like a different color. It smells similar. It seems thinner. Yeah, not as thick. Spreads pretty thin. Seems pretty good. So... Got this one, two elf products. And then, oh, I meant to get the same size ones, but these are the Kitsch three different size elastics. I use these for little braids like this, essentially, or if I do like half up or something. The tiny one's only $3 for a pack of all these different clear elastics. I got a waterproof mascara. I love this for the summer, especially when it's like hot outside. Like, I feel like I like wearing waterproof mascara, especially my bottom lashes during the summer. So my absolute favorite since as long as I can remember since I was wearing mascara, is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, the waterproof one. It's the best waterproof mascara I've ever found. So I picked up a new one. It's definitely been some time since I got a new one and I wear it kind of often. It's also good for like the outer corner lashes, um, even just on a normal day, like you never know. Why did I just smell that? So fresh, so clean. I'm just gonna toss out the other one while I'm here so I don't forget or get them mixed up, but. Yes, it's definitely been time for a new one for a while. And then I actually have never tried anything like this before. I know they're pretty popular, but I've never tried these. They're the Mighty Patch Acne Patches. They're supposed to like dry out um, blemishes. It says you're a blemish hero. And it has six originals for night and six invisible for day. So um, if you haven't heard of these, you pretty much just stick them on if you have um, a blemish and it extracts impurities, camouflage blemishes, and helps heal your skin. Why am I so incapable of speaking? Use original for nighttime, invisible for daytime. Okay, cool. I don't really have much of a problem with acne with my skin. Mostly my skin is dry. So a product that dries out spots of it is like not usually my ideal, but um, I do have a couple just that pop up from time to time. Like I have one right here right now. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I thought a patch would be good because it is very like a spot here and there for me. So if I could just put a patch on it when I get them because all of my other products are really hydrating and kind of oily. So it'd be good to like isolate the spot with this in those cases. So I got some of these. We'll see if they're actually effective. And then finally, this was kind of an impulse purchase in the checkout line, but I used to absolutely love and swear by Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I decided to pick it up again just because it's been a really long time since I've tried it. And I wanted to get a travel uh, mascara anyway. And I know that I love this one. So I thought I'd just pick up the little version so I can bring it with me when I travel places. And I know that I like it. So yeah, that's it for my Ulta haul. Just some, a few things I needed to restock and a couple new things. I just love going to Ulta and getting fun things. <laughs> it's just such an adventure. And also the Ulta at Herald Square. Um, it's like pretty big and they have a lot of different options. So anyway, yeah, that's my haul. Why is this dark? Did they change the packaging? It's like a dark color. I swear it used to be like light silver. Yeah, they have like a full size wand, even though it's a mini mascara, which I love. I was about to say thank you to Ulta, but this was not a sponsorship. I just purchased all this stuff. So anyway, um, my brain is like not computing right now, but excited to use the things. And yeah, it's Tuesday evening and I'm just chilling at home tonight. Um, so nothing too exciting to report from me, but um, I need to finish the video that my computer died when I was at the co-working space. I didn't bring my charger. So I need to finish it here and get that ready to go. Catch up on some emails that I missed earlier. I'm feeling extra tired for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like I got like an abnormally little amount of sleep, but maybe I'll get to bed early tonight. Yeah, just a chill night here. So talk to you later. What's up you guys, happy Wednesday. I'm about to jump on a call with Sierra for um, some podcast planning stuff. Uh, I mentioned in my last video, we're starting a hiatus for a few weeks, but we still have other things that we're working on even though we're not recording, like actively uploading right now. Yeah, so we have like a little meeting call in a minute but i wanted to brew some coffee before that so I'm making some hot coffee today i already had some iced coffee earlier but honestly you guys i just this is vanilla powder by the way i don't get the same caffeination at all 
from iced coffee like at home um i don't know why but hot coffee always does it for me so i'm having a cup of this it just started raining outside it's a very cozy vibe i'm feeling good today i did get an email in response to my thank you yesterday from my interview saying that the deliberation process is going to take them longer than they thought so next steps will probably come next wednesday so i have a week of waiting but that's okay it's out of my hands such is life okay so i'm gonna put some collagen in this before sierra calls me and then we're having a chat okay guys so it's the afternoon and i've been sitting here working at my desk for a while doing podcast content stuff and working on the website um i'm kind of i always like go in and touch up you guys know um i like to keep an eye on the website and keep it updated and keep an eye on our orders coming in of our merch and everything so i'm so excited that this video is sponsored by squarespace because that is exactly who we use to host our website and it is the best platform for making your online presence this is our website on squarespace it is fingerscrosspod.com we bought the domain through the website and everything on squarespace and it looks like this i actually think we're gonna do some like sprucing up so that's what i'm looking at now is kind of taking stock of what our website looks like and what we could change because we got some new photos when we were together in la so these are like our initial photo shoot that we did so you scroll through our home page different features like a little about us and then it'll link to different pages super user friendly and easy to get around the site link directly to our anchor website where you can listen to the podcast we just wanted it to be a one-stop shop for all things fingers crossed we have some reviews they also have really cool ways to get involved in like foster community on your website so we have a way to send us a message that'll go directly to our email you can also connect different social accounts so we have our instagram linked they also have a really cool analytics tool over here that can give you some insights about your audience who's coming through your website and help you kind of better cater to them and what we use the most is our shop page commerce you can go through orders inventory we went through and actually had a sale for our birthdays so we set that up on squarespace and you guys it took me literally 30 seconds to figure out how to just like make a discount code and it was so easy they also just seamlessly integrate with other third-party websites so like our seller that we make the actual products through people place their orders on squarespace and they're sent directly to the seller and who processes them and actually ships out the merch so they make it really easy to incorporate and not only that one shop but they have so many different extensions and kind of third-party um, platforms that you can integrate onto the website so that is fingers crossed so stay tuned um, keep an eye on the website because right now I'm going through like I said and we might do some updating photos or some branding or something like that and it's just really really easy on this site so you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to sign up you can go to squarespace.com slash Christy Vetter to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain which is such an awesome deal again there'll be a link down below you can check out squarespace.com slash Christy Vetter to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain so definitely run don't walk such a good deal thank you Squarespace for sponsoring and I'm gonna get back to brainstorming some ideas for our site okay i'm about to head out i'm going back to the surfing class that i went to last week it was so much fun and i loved it so um we're going again and bringing another one of our friends who wanted to go so we're doing the beginner class again and i am stoked and yeah hopefully i'll have my bearings a little bit better this time and um just get better on the surfboard so it was raining earlier but um it is calmed down now so hopefully it's not raining when i'm walking there but we're gonna head to bowery because that's where it is hello everyone happy thursday yes um, I have actually put another one of those pimple patches on the mighty match. What's it called? Mighty patch. Why did I just say mighty match? That sounds like a kid's show about firefighters. I was so impressed. I put one on yesterday. Did I talk about that? I don't remember. Um, and I had a spot like right here and it's like flat today. Like it's gone, which is incredible. So very impressed. So I put one on this little guy here. And I might sweat it off because I'm about to go to the gym, but we'll see. Oh well. And yeah, I'm getting a leg workout in because I want to wash my hair. So I was like, I might as well work out before that this morning. Last night we went back to surfing. It was so much fun. Great class. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it more. And next time we'll probably do like a level up. But great stuff. 
And then we just got sweet green and hung out in the park after and yeah then i came back and slept and now i'm here and it's thursday morning and i'm about to go downstairs get a workout in shower and get on with my day so here we go got my keys i need to fill up my water and then we'll hit the gym i did it i completed the winnie simmons alive 2.0 program it was supposed to be oh yeah 10 weeks so um, it definitely took me longer than that. I think I started it probably March, but I was spacing out my workouts and doing other things too. So proud that I completed it though, and I loved it. So highly recommend if you guys especially are new to weightlifting and you want to try it out. She has such good videos on here and everything and guided workouts. So love it. Um, I think I might take a break from it for the time being. If I want to do like a strength workout, I can just go down to pick one of her daily ones instead of a program for now and yeah I think I might do a little more kind of cardio like I mentioned I've been more into that recently so we're gonna roll with it got to get a leg workout in so we'll probably be sore <laughs> but I need to shower gym tan laundry <laughs> just kidding I've been on my laptop getting some editing I didn't really get the video done but also I'm not sure that I'm going, I don't know. I'm like torn because it's like my interview prep video, which I didn't give away details about the interview itself, but I still feel like I shouldn't upload it till I hear back, so I'm not really sure. But we'll see, I'm gonna edit the rest of it, um, perhaps on the bus tomorrow, because I think that's probably the only time I'm going to. I guess that means I'm bringing my laptop. I'm going to Boston this weekend. <laughs> I'm all over the place um, with my thoughts and I need to still pack things. I kind of have a couple ideas for outfits. I'm only going less than two days because I'm going to be there Friday evening, which we're just going to go to my friend's house and then Saturday full day and Sunday morning and then I'm heading back on the bus. So um, I don't have too much to pack for, which is good, but I won't have options also because we're probably going to have a couple variety of things going on. So anyway. I'm just thinking out loud. I'll probably edit on the four hour bus ride tomorrow. But now it's the evening and I'm getting ready, putting some makeup on because I'm going to dinner with some friends. Um, we're going back to Sauce Restaurant. I think I vlogged it when we went before, but they have $20 unlimited wine and beer on Thursdays. So we're going to get some gluten-free pizza. Well, I'm going to get gluten-free pizza because it was really good last time. And some wine and just to chill out with the girls. So. I'm trying this elf powder that I bought the other day for the first time. I haven't done like full makeup yet. So um, I usually do kind of bake with translucent powder. Wow, a lot came off on that one little swipe. I guess I probably don't need much. It's not really baking because usually you would use like a lot of loose powder, but I do just kind of like pat it underneath. Oh yeah, it's definitely more visible than the other one I was using. It comes off more onto the sponge, which is kind of a good thing because I think that will do the baking effect a little bit more. So I'm just gonna let that set for just a few minutes and then kind of dust a little bit on the rest of my face. I do wonder if this one, because it's like perfect finish HD powder, um, if it has flashback, I guess we'll see. I feel like I look a little pale anyway. Maybe I should put on some tanning drops when I go to sleep tonight. But anyway, yeah, so today's been chill. I got my laundry done, hung up in the back and just been working from home on my laptop. I need to leave in a little under two hours, so I'll probably throw together some of the things I'm gonna bring tomorrow. My bus is not until 1.30 tomorrow, so I have the morning too, but uh, I just wanna have a little bit of a better idea of so someone scrambling tomorrow, but I think it'll be good. Okay, yeah, I'm using my little Kabuki brush. I honestly don't even remember. This might have been a drugstore purchase when I was out of a powder brush, but anyway, I'm gonna just dust the rest of it. <laughs> The rest of the entire powder. I'm gonna dust some on the rest of my face and kind of swipe off the, wow, it actually is like, it covers a lot. And I think it's more mattifying than the one I was using before. I'm impressed. A little seems to go a long way. Especially in the summer, I'm not super into like glowy skin to the point of looking oily. I think there's like a fine line for me. So I like it to be a little bit matte and then I'll use highlighter to bring in some of that glow. It's definitely is quite mattifying. I don't know, I feel like it's not super translucent. I feel like it did kind of give me a little bit of a lighter cast. Hopefully it keeps my makeup in place. Okay, let's try using the flash on my camera. Doing the front camera flash. I don't know if that's strong enough, but. Hmm. Well, first of all, I just looked dead in this photo, but I do think it gave a little bit of like flashy. That's not a good sign. 
Okay, we're gonna try it this way. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I don't know, you guys. Whatever, we'll see, we'll try it on. I'm gonna put a little bronzer on to warm up my face and finish my makeup, and um, we'll see how it goes, but. Okay, I just put on clothes. I put on these high-waisted jeans that I actually recently got. I'm not sure if I showed you guys these ones. I'm not sure if you've seen them yet, but they are linked below, but I did have to cut them like a lot at the bottom. They had like, they were very long um, and I cut like three inches off. They literally had slits on the side and I cut the entire slit off because I'm that short. But um, I really like the fit of them. They're like their high rise slim flare is what they're called. So really into these. I'm trying to get more jeans that aren't skinny jeans because that's pretty much what I had before. So now I got a couple pairs that are like looser on the bottom and better. <laughs> I'm wearing this little black crop top with them so just a pretty basic outfit but anyway um i have a few minutes still until i need to head out for once in my life so i'm pulling together a few pieces that i want to pack for boston so i have a little head start on my packing before tomorrow so here we go i, I think i'm gonna wear like a comfy jumpsuit moment on the bus tomorrow i think we might be doing like the freedom trail and stuff so kind of outdoors active ish so i might do like a biker shorts outfit during the day on saturday and for that i'll probably bring a couple tops as options just because it's like you know little tops like this don't take up much space so it doesn't matter if i have a couple with me and also for going out on saturday i'll have a couple little crop tops to choose from so i'm gonna go with a nude tank top can't go wrong with this maybe a white just a couple neutrals and then a fun top. And then on the way back on the bus Sunday, I'll probably do, it'll be rainy. I might do leggings just because that'll be comfy. It doesn't really matter. Like we're not gonna be doing anything crazy. I think I might wanna put a belt on with these jeans because they're a little loose in the waist. Okay, I'm putting on a black belt with a gold buckle because my jewelry is gold as usual. Okay. Cute, All right? Let's help. <laughs> okay, I just have a severe overpacking problem, so I already know I'm probably going overboard at this point um, for literally two days. But I'm just not sure what I'm gonna want to wear in the moment and when I'm actually there and feel the weather, you know? Okay, I'll have a white one and a nude one, and these will be good options, and then I'll just decide tomorrow what I actually wanna bring. So there's a little bit of packing that didn't really end that constructively, but whatever. I also have these cute shorts from my newly box that I haven't worn yet actually, but they'd be cute with this white top, I think. So maybe I'll do this as an outfit. They're like these fun, I think they're, yeah, anthropology drawstring shorts, like the florally thing. So this could be good for daytime outfit if we're not gonna do something super active or i feel like nude might go with it okay anyway i have a few things set out so that's good enough for now and i'm gonna head out to dinner the sun's actually peeking out so that's lovely this is probably the first day in a while that it hasn't rained which is iconic we love summer <laughs> okay and then one last thing is a close-up of my face after i did the rest of my makeup um that face powder i think actually is really good i still don't know about the flashback situation but once I added a little more other makeup, like bronzer and blush, it's good. So it's definitely more mattifying and I'm into it. Let's try one last flash photo. <laughs> it's close up. It's so weird to see a photo of yourself on the back camera, like that close up, because it's different than like the selfie camera. <laughs> God, why am I making these faces? It's actually not bad. I feel like it does like kind of lighten my face a little bit, but it's not like harsh. Then again, I'm also not in a dark room so whatever but let's delete this to never be seen again and move on with our life oh my god you guys okay who knows about this damn powder but whatever it's not worth these photos i changed into tennis shoes but here's the fit of the jeans in the mirror i like the boot cut i think they're really flattering um yeah again i cut off a lot i think i might even cut off more because like they kind of go a little long over my shoes, like it looks a little awkward, but I didn't want to cuff them. I think they're definitely a good fit otherwise and super high-waisted, which I love. And yeah, so again, link below if you're interested. Um, I'm gonna go to dinner with the pals and catch you guys later. Friday, I am now 
now actually packing things into my bag. So one outfit I have is exercise dress, jacket. I'll probably tie this around my waist in case it does get a little chilly or we're indoors or something and I want a jacket in the bag. And then I have white jeans and a couple top options that I might switch between, but I'll probably go for the nude tank for going out. In case I wanna wear shorts instead of the dress, I have these shorts and the white top, black top alternate. Why do I need five different alternate outfits is the question. Leggings, biker shorts, sleep shorts. For the trip back, I'll have leggings. Umbrella in case it rains on Sunday. Sleep shirt. And that's good for outfits, I think. And I have a toiletry bag. I'll stick in this side of this. I haven't packed my makeup yet because I'm gonna put it on my face first. And then I'll throw that in my backpack, I think. So I'm gonna have this little bag with clothes and toiletries and then my backpack because I'm bringing my laptop to edit. I talked about like book, just random miscellaneous things in there. That should be good. So I have two hours till I need to leave. So I'm gonna make some food, put some makeup on, finish up last minute things and head to Boston. So I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna do a separate vlog. So I'm gonna wrap up this week in my life video and then do a weekend in Boston vlog. Oh, shoes. What shoes am I gonna bring? Honestly, maybe I'll just bring my Air Force Ones because that's all I wear anyway. I'm excited. Last night was super fun getting dinner with my friends. We found out that the $20 unlimited wine deal if you go to Sauce in the Lower East Side, it's if you're sitting outside. So make sure if you wanna get that on a Thursday, go and book a table outside. We made that mistake, but it's okay, it's all good, it was really fun. Yeah, this morning I've been up for a couple hours, catching up on like emails, getting things ready for me to be gone for the weekend. Um, nothing crazy actually, but packing and I'm feeling good. Hopefully, I wanna leave with enough time to like find my bus and everything in Port Authority, that's where it's leaving from. So, doing good on time. I'm finishing getting ready now, I'm using my little they're real mini mascara, so I'm going to head out in about 45 minutes or so. Um, yes, perfect. I'm still doing great on time. I eat food. I feel like I'm forgetting something, and then I kind of thought about how I'm going to be on a bus for four hours and I don't have any snacks packed, and I don't really have any food here because I wanted to kind of like clear everything out um, before I head out. So I think I might try, I might swing by Whole Foods because it's around the corner or actually that's probably smarter because I don't know what's going to be by Port Authority. So I think I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll head out like 15 minutes early and go pick up a few snacks for the road and then um, be on my way to Boston. So thank you guys for watching this week in my life video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, kind of random, kind of less than a week because I started it on Tuesday and now I'm ending it Friday morning, but that's okay. Another extremely random week that probably was not that satisfying to watch. <laughs> Love that for me. Hopefully we'll have some more updates about um, things in the works next week and job stuff and all that. So fingers crossed. Until then, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you at my next vlog of me going to Boston for the first time. So that'll be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Okay, love you guys. Bye.